Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here at Kibbe Tech. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, so I had to modify this uh, power steering pump to fit the ID Designs big block uh, pre-runner accessory drive. Brought it over here to the old trusty bridge port and tried my best to uh, kind of make that look as good as we can. So, as long as it works, right? And just like that, it works. See? Now I can never stress this enough. Nothing ever works when you just buy it off the shelf. Everything always needs a little something. All right, back here on the Tundra, you see we got another huge update here, which is the big block Chevy that we had Maruzi Race Motors built for us. So it's a 555 dart block, AFR heads, uh, Holly intake, injection. We're running a coil on plug setup, no distributor, uh, billet valve covers, uh, daily engineering, billet dry sump setup, ID Designs front plate accessory drive with the Mazier billet water pump. We also run a DC power billet alternator. And then it also has a AC compressor that mounts on the other side right here. And then on the other side, we got the uh, power steering solutions billet trophy truck pump. As you can see right here, it does not fit. So you saw me earlier machining to get this in here with the spacing off of here. Uh, this actually hit the original plan for this thing was an LS build like a big nasty LS. Um, we decided to go uh, big block instead. So obviously big block's a little bit bigger than an LS. So we got pretty tight up here on space. Rather than, you know, cut the middle of the truck out, push everything back, we're probably just gonna end up notching the bulkhead out right here and then uh, plating it all back in just so this clears and everything's happy there. Evan's got some more tube work up front. On the other side, we had to add this bend to clear the dry sump and the pump. So we just mirrored everything from that side to this side because we know that side is our kind of our tight side with the with the dry sump setup. Yeah, we're gonna add a few more tubes and then we got the header flanges on here already. And then we're gonna start building the headers. And those are gonna be uh, two and a quarter primaries to uh, four inch exhausts, which are the exhaust is already done from here back. So we just gotta build the headers, run the collector in, do some four inch V-bands and then uh, that'll be done. We got a new air filter in the works. So we're gonna run a Walker performance filtration, like rectangle style filter. It'll be like five or six inches tall. We'll machine a billet top and bottom for it. So it'll be like a big, you know, trophy truck style uh, air cleaner setup. So this thing will be like 950 at the crank on race gas. So we could do some pump gas versions, but I mean, you're already spending this much. Might as well get, you know, buy some race gas for it. It's gonna be super exciting. This is the first truck we've built with a big block, super torquey, and it's gonna be a whole different animal than just, you know, like a 650, 700 horsepower LS. So stay tuned for more on this. All right, another big milestone. We got our tube laser and flat plate laser up and running, 100%. This is, I think, your last day of uh, training, right? Yep. Tell everyone who you are. How you doing, Kibby Tech World? It's Alex with XOVR CNC. Typical Bodar guys, we install lasers, brakes, presses, CNC tube benders. Hit us up if you guys need anything. There you go. He's showing uh, Shane what to do here. We weren't really planning on uh, Shane running the laser, but he's picked it up really fast. I think that's his new job title now. <laughs> you can see we're running uh, some inch and a half 120 right now. We've been, we been running inch and three quarter all day so we're just dialing in settings on different size material so just doing a few test cuts we're running a bunch of bed cages right now for a few different builds we got those already cut out we'll show you those right now if you ever seen our bed cages you kind of can tell that 
This is like the front wall of the bed cage. Don't mind this tubing. We got some pretty nasty chromoly. We're gonna still prep all the ends and then these things will get sandblasted and powder coated. So weren't too worried about that. Yes, yeah, so this is like a bed cage for an 01 to 10 Duramax for our buddy Alex. And then that's the front wall. Here's all the rear tubes that come down. Some tubing for like some chassis tie-ins and a carrier bearing cross member with upper link tie-ins. And then over there, we got our Raptor bed cage for our buddy Eric going on over there right now. We just kind of went through all of our files that we've had, uh, you know, been stockpiling for the past few months, knowing we were gonna get this. So we're just kind of going through everything right now and just cutting as much of everything as we can. And obviously cut similar diameter tubing at the same time for multiple different projects. Pretty exciting. We'll be able to knock out a bed cage and like probably by the time it's prepped and welded in a couple days, pretty much cut out this whole bed cage in about 10 or 15 minutes. Big time saver. So now that we got this going, we get caught up on a lot, a lot of parts that we have to get sent out to our customers. We got some flat parts over here as well. So we cut out a few, uh, like our fuel cell cradles. So we got a couple Jazz Jeep Speed ones right here. Over here, we got some more parts for the bed cages, some teardrops, just some regular tabs. These got a little dirty. We're dialing in some settings, but we'll be able to clean those up and, and run them. But Usually all the cuts on the laser will, uh, will look like that. And this is cut with nitrogen, so we don't have to prep this edge. We can just weld right to it. And then uh, we got a Raptor four-wheel drive long travel kit we cut out. Some more fuel cell parts, speed tool kits, trays. Cut out you know, a few more of those, get some of those going. Yeah, pretty exciting. Knock out a lot of this stuff like fairly quick. I think this big tray right here. I want to say it cut the whole thing in like eight minutes or so. Super exciting and uh, I just wanted to be in control of everything that we do and this is one of those things that we weren't in control of. Being able to drop a part, bring it over here on a flash drive, cut it out within a few hours rather than draw it up and then wait, you know, a couple weeks to get it back from laser. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned for more. We're going to be building a, a lot of parts here. Back over here in the machine shop, we got some 60 inch trailing arms that we're doing. So 60 inch center to center from front uniball to rear uniball. These are for the tube chassis race truck in the shop. And we're doing another set for another chassis that we got coming up. Pretty much the same features as our 55s, but obviously five inches longer. And these are not built for like a crew cab style. So like our 55s that we've shown you before, the shocks are pushed really far back to keep the shocks outside the cab. These are pretty much not centered, but you know, classic uh, location there. And that will fit a 3.5 and 4.5 shock. All the big boy shocks will fit in there. We're machining the stainless inserts to go in here so the shock bolts don't wear out the aluminum. We added a cool feature here, put our logo in it finally. So we kind of raised this center section out, put the logo in, and then it's got a couple of cool little tool paths in there. Yeah, I think that one in there, machining right now, is doing the whole top. So we're machining that out, and then once that's done, we'll be able to flip it over, machine the back, and then these things are done. Super happy with these. The tool paths are real nice. Kevin's doing a good job programming these, so you can see all the tool paths in here. Super, super nice. This tool path kind of flows all the way through. And then on this radius, the tool path kind of goes across, and then it goes back to like a linear tool path there. Super nice, and uh, yeah, can't wait to get these under that race truck because I just got word that the Tube Works rear end housing is done for that. So I got to pick that up like tomorrow or something. And then uh, that truck will uh, have suspension under it pretty quick. Stay tuned. All right, that wraps it up here. Another week at uh, Kibbe Tech. Don't forget, like, subscribe, tell all your friends, go to our website, buy all our parts like uh, TRX parts. Like this thing right here, it's got our leveling kit, sway bar end links, billet upper control arms, and a complete billet rear suspension kit. All right, see you guys next week.